According to the American Cancer Society, one in five leading causes of death in men and women each year in the U.S. is colon cancer. About nine in ten of all cases are found in people over the age of 50. So when should you be screened? Dr. Sanjay Venn from the Austin Cancer Center is here to help. Good morning to you. Good morning. And this can be very scary because there are no symptoms early on. Yeah, typically for colon cancers, um, it starts off as it's a cancer with a large bowel. It can start off as a, a normal tumor growth cells and they're typically called polyps and they don't necessarily always have symptoms. So common symptoms that patient can look for is if they have any rectal bleeding, change in their bowel habits, and common times they could have abdominal cramping and that's persistent. And sometimes you see pencil thin stools. These are common symptoms you should seek attention. So not everybody who had had first time rectal bleeding would be considered to have colon cancer, but something to seek attention. Mm -hmm. Is there a general rule for when to get checked out or when to get screened? Are there certain indicators that you might need to see a doctor a little bit sooner for that? Correct. Current recommendation is typically at 50, age 50 or greater. If you have certain conditions such as uh, familial uh, increase, uh, familial history of colon cancer, mm -hmm. then you want to get it done sooner. Mm -hmm. And also you have certain conditions called Crohn's or ulcerative colitis, they're inflammatory bowel disease. So if you have those, you certainly want to get done sooner. Uh, but typically, you don't want to wait till 50 if other symptoms such as bleeding or other issues, so you want to get it done sooner. What does treatment look like for colon cancer, and has it changed over the years? Certainly, it's changed at different levels. First, uh, from surgical standpoint, you do robotic surgery, which is the recovery time is faster. In terms of treatment, you have targeted therapy, which the chemotherapy is now more directed directly to the cancer cells versus affecting the whole system. So the toxicity profile is much better now. Mm -hmm. And also you're looking at immunotherapy and vaccination and also trying to look at other ways to detect cancer in the stool so that it's less invasive. So definitely much better than what we were before and we are making headway in terms of newer treatments. And obviously prevention is usually key. What can people be doing early on in their lifestyle right now to either stop or put off um, colon cancer? So there are two things. One is uh, obviously the screening is when you detect uh, colon cancer early, your best chance of cure is high. So you would get your screening at early stage and also the risk factors which can increase your colon cancer. One is alcohol, increased red meat, uh, obesity, and uh, exercise. All these shown to have some benefit in reducing the risk of colon cancer. So you want to watch what you eat, increase your fiber, have a good mix of vegetables and fruits, shown to have some increase um, uh, in your benefit in patients with colon cancer. Okay, good information for us, Dr. Venn. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you.